Hi guys, uh, we'll do a live press conference in here with uh, John O'Shea, of course, and then we'll go out into the room for a huddle with the print journalists at the Irish Print Journals. So, once we're set, I'm ready to go. Please put your hand up for the first question in the live. Neil, please fire away. Hi John, uh, your counterpart <laughs> said it was more or less a boring game, low rhythm, many difficulties, slow passes. No sharpness. Did you have a more positive outlook? <laughs> but no sharpness from his team, or? Uh, well, I think primarily his team, yeah. Right. Ah, oh, look, we we had the best chances. Um, we were aware beforehand. Uh, in, well, you, you, we were kind of thinking that they were going to go um, that four four three three shape. Um, obviously, look, we knew the talent, the squad that they have, that they made changes, um, and the players that they have, obviously coming on were. More uh, talented youngsters as well, playing at top clubs around Europe too. So it was going to be a challenge. But when you saw the couple of chances, the big chances we created early on, it was exactly what we'd worked from um, to be compact, compact, aggressive. Uh, look for the tens, look for the opposite tens combined. And it was a shame we didn't get the rewards in the sense from that first half, especially. Um, that was the big thing for me. Sammy, his ability to take the ball on, on the turn. Yeah, and look, and that's why obviously we we went with Gio and Sammy uh, to support Evan in that sense, and the form they're in, playing for our clubs, uh, the confidence that they have, and obviously uh, the connections they have with the team as well was uh, was a big factor. Philip, John, just because you kind of the penalty, uh, Robbie Brady seemed to get, take the ball initially, and then Evan Ferguson took it off. Who was on penalty? No, Evan, Evan would have been on the penalties. I think that would have been just a case of. Uh, Maybe Robbie trying that one of no to protecting the the yeah. taker type of scenario, okay. but uh, it was just just unfortunate. Yes. Um, just before just before he knocked it, so uh, would have put it off. But as it look, uh, a youngster stepping up like that in front, it uh, shows obviously the courage he has, and he didn't let him affect him. He, he knocked into the centre backs as soon as he could again, got his confidence going, and it's uh, it's one of the as well. How we started. Um, that's what we talked about at half time. Quickly about the reset. Really go at Belgium as quick as we could. Worked a nice little kick off. Um, and it was a really great ball from Robbie. And uh, it was unlucky, probably just a touch too high. But if Ed might have timed it a little bit better, but a touch too high as well. He was unlucky with it. It was a well worked move. Just on Robbie Brady, you brought him back in. He hadn't been seen much the last year or two with all the few injuries. But his contribution didn't look like he was never away. And his general play and set, set piece play, he was a threat. Yeah, no, it was big because you think of the two wing backs, Seamus and Robbie. Um, that's what I kind of almost thought about straight away when I saw the potential for our three centre backs that are playing in the Premier League. Um, that they have that experience around them to keep encouraging, keep pushing. Um, I thought, look, that was never going to be an issue for me because I know the type of players and people that they are. Gavin Kelly, please. Hi, John. Oh, yeah. What did you say to Evan afterwards? Because this was a long goal run there, and obviously. No, look, it's straightforward. He'd be, uh, he'd be ready to go um, as, as soon as we need him to. It's, it's one of those things I spoke about before the game in terms of he'll have another spell five, six years down the line of uh, a couple of months without a goal. It happens with top strikers, and he'll uh, as soon as he gets on the goal trail again, he'll be, he'll be back on a run again. And a word on Shane's performance because it's easier job than coming up against Jack. Yeah. No. Look, as I mentioned, uh, any any of the players coming back in that haven't been around. Seamus, obviously, it's almost a year to the to the time he was back around the squad, and uh, you're kind of thinking, is it we'll have a little war with him halfway through the second half just to see how he was in terms of uh, ready to go fitness if we were going to need to have a little reshuffle with the subs. Um, but look, the words that came back were very positive, and it wasn't surprising. But we just needed to double check. But um, look, that's why he was uh, picked to play and obviously the captain of the team. And what, does the and what does the result do for the squad? Because okay, it's not a win, but it's not a defeat either. I think the group has suffered too many. No, look, it's, it's, yeah, look, it's a frustrating one because, yeah, you appreciate Belgium had a, <clears throat> a decent bit of possession, but we kind of felt beforehand that we didn't mind that in a sense because we knew the damage we could create again against them on the break. Um, and if you take those chances when they arrived in the game, I think that even opens up Belgium a little bit more for us and we can exploit that even more. So, um, 
frustrating one in that sense. But yeah, look, you're playing Belgium in Dublin. You take a clean sheet, but a little bit disappointed in the end too. And the last couple of years, uh, John, Ireland have enjoyed a lot of possession in these games, but haven't really done much with it. Today, it was sort of reverting back a little bit more to compact defending and counter-attacking. Do you think that's more suited to this? Than it's a it's a mix. No, not previously at all. It's just a mix in the, the current situation in terms of where the players are at at the clubs, um, where the opposition that you're going to face at a certain time. It's just for the here and now. It's not about a previous uh, scenario or anything. This is just for the here and now. What we felt would be most beneficial for us today to get a win. Edward, you think? John, um, the partnership with Josh and Will. Um, you can see it to be more than 10 yards apart in the whole match. Um, can you talk about where that partnership came from and how impressed you were with it? Yeah, look, I, um, <clears throat> look I've, obviously I know Josh very well and I know Will very well in terms of uh, where, when he came into the 21s, uh, worked with him at Stoke as well, um, and a few times, obviously he's done it for Southampton too, um, that sixth position or lower pivots in midfield, um, that, that's the connection we just felt that was going to be a key in terms of protecting the team but also a huge chance for it to, to us to exploit on the counter-attack with our passing ability to connect the teams either short passing combining themselves different angles to find the pockets of Sammy and, uh, and Gio that was a key thing for me that's what we were looking for um, and I thought the two of them because we knew uh, physicality in terms of Belgium have some big boys in there too that we knew we'd have to be up against them, battle away, nick the ball away, press when we could, and the two of them are really aggressive on that front too. And then just in terms of the back three, at the start of the game, it looked as though they may have been just marking more aggressive. They sort of worked it out amongst themselves with Darrow pushing Robbie up a bit. Mm. And then the team events was coming late. But, you know, another day, Josh would have gone home and had the team events. Was that always the plan to allow Josh to sort of let him go? And yeah, that was the key. Look, in terms of... That's the domination I kind of want from our centre backs to be pressing into midfield, pressing players high up the pitch, being able to, excuse me, being able to swing round into a four with the wing backs pushed high like a winger. That the the, the centre backs can be aggressive like that because they've got the attributes and the ability to be aggressive stepping into midfield if it might be where the player's gone, and I think that's a, a key asset for the team going forward, and um, the quality and aggression and pace and power of our centre backs is uh, is crucial for us. Just outside, guys. Thank you. Oh.